Welcome to Team Knowledge Base for Outlook and SharePoint. In this video demonstration, we will explore how individual support staff can connect to the KB settings data source. Access the KB article stored in one or more SharePoint lists from within Outlook. And choose a relevant article to insert to an outgoing email reply. The first step for each staff is to install Team Knowledge Base user tool in their system. Installation is just a few clicks. Once it is successfully installed, start Outlook. You will be prompted to connect to the KB Settings data source. This KB Settings data source is nothing but a special SharePoint list which was already configured previously by your administrator. Enter the SharePoint site URL where this special settings list is located. If you are not sure about the site URL, you can ask your administrator. Here, you can see all the SharePoint subsites shown in hierarchical tree. If your administrator had already configured Team Knowledge Base before, there would be a list with the name Team KB Settings. Select and confirm it. And when you click the Save, it would extract KB Settings information, including chosen SharePoint KB lists and their field mappings that were defined by your administrator. These settings will be then saved as cache data to your local system. Here is the Team Knowledge Base ribbon available in every Outlook Mail folder. Now, let us try choosing a KB article and reply to customer query in Outlook. Here is a support request email. And let us assume there is a particular KB article defined somewhere in your SharePoint that addresses the issue the sender is facing. You can click the reply email with a KB option from the Steam Knowledge Base ribbon. This will display a dialog window allowing you to browse through the Knowledge Base articles. First of all, you can select from which particular SharePoint list the KB article should show up in the tree view for selection. You can choose the last option, All, to show KB articles from all the configured SharePoint KB lists. You can make use of a filter to refine your search. For example, you can display the KB articles listing by specifying a problem category and a type. Alternatively, you can also specify keywords for a full text search such that matching KB articles that meet the criteria are only displayed for selection. Now, all you need to do is select the relevant KB article to be inserted either as attachment in line or as URL into the email reply. For example, you can choose to insert the selected KB article as attachment in the form of Adobe PDF document format. Other supported formats are Word document, Microsoft XPS, or as single web file. You can also embed the selected KB article directly into the body of the email reply. Notice that any inline images and formatting of the KB article are preserved in its original state in the reply email. Alternatively, if your SharePoint site is opened and accessible on the web, you can also insert the hyperlink URL of the selected KB article into the reply. 
The recipient can then simply click the hyperlink to open the relevant article in their web browser. You can also compose a new MDKB article directly from Outlook. From this new MDKB menu and Team Knowledge Base ribbon, you can click the particular SharePoint site under which the new KB article will be created. The other way is from under the SharePoint list directly by clicking the Add New Item. You can then compose the KB by filling the title, category, type, and the description fields. If you have resolved a problem of an end user and the information leading to the solution is an email, you can generate a new KB article directly by inheriting the information from the email. Just click Publish Email to KV and then specify the destination SharePoint list where it would be stored for future use and retrieval. It would then allow you to specify a problem category and type under which this new KB article will be classified within the SharePoint list. And this is how the generated KB article appears in your SharePoint. So, Team Knowledge Base acts as an effective knowledge sharing medium by allowing support staffs to document best practices and solutions to common problems in the form of KB articles stored on one or more SharePoint lists. This concludes this video demonstration. For more references and customizations, refer to the PDF documentation available under the Help menu.